evening, good morning, and good afternoon, boys. And girls. Welcome back to another episode of The Cotto Show. Show. <laughs> My name is Zach, alongside me is Melanie Thompson today. And today is a special day because it's almost Earth Day. It's my mom's birthday, too. Happy birthday, Beth. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mom. Uh, so, <laughs> so we've got a Earth Day special today. Apparently, Peter, according to Peter, uh, <clears throat> it's the season finale. I didn't remember Aww, that. So I'm going to uh, miss you. OK. I'm going to miss you. Same, I guess. Uh, so we are doing some Earth Day special stuff. Uh, I've got a couple questions lined up for you. Seven, you have to get four correct. They okay. are facts about the Earth. Oh, good. Um, the good twist about it is, though, in honor of Earth Day, which is normally to try to conserve the Earth and to preserve it, mm -hmm. I am asking you facts about pollution and things that destroy the Earth. Morbid. So here we are. Uh, question number one. The question for you is, how much garbage is dumped into the ocean on an annual basis? Okay. How much garbage is dumped into the ocean every year? Is the answer 14 billion pounds? Or is it 41 billion pounds? 41. Incorrect, it's 14. Q, bad ding. Mm, <laughs> so yeah, uh, the, fact, uh, the fact associated with that one is plastic is the most uh, thrown away uh, piece mm. of garbage into the ocean. I should have um, known. So 14 billion, you're 0 for 1. Next question. Okay. What? I'm not good. At, we should know by now. I'm not good at this. Well, that's why no we're surprised. Practice makes perfect. We're going to get you up there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what percentage of the lakes in America have been deemed as risky for swimming, fishing, and aquatic life? Essentially, what uh, percentage of the lakes have been <clears throat> polluted enough to the point where it's pretty sketch to get in there? Pretty sketch? Uh, so is the is answer, that the scientific term? Uh, term? Yes. The scientists <laughs> refer to it as pretty, pretty sketch. sketch. Yeah. Uh, is it 46% or 64%? Hello, producer Will in the background adjusting um, the camera. 46. What? Get, get confident. The answer is 46%. You're one for two. You have a 50%. Still F, Sorry, but screen, it's a better really F. Bad. Overmodulate. There over you go. Overmodulate. <laughs> Get mad, producer. Zach Will. is really on thin ice with overmodulating because he was threatened to not be allowed to go to Chick fil A anymore. Yeah. So. Mm. No, it's a Chick fil A night. Yeah, it's Chick fil A night oh. at the apartment. He said, Oh, I thought they said Chick fil A earlier. Turns out he can't go to Chick fil A yeah. night. Yeah, whoops. Oh, well. Equally as devastating. One for, yeah, one for two. The holiday is a great movie. Oh, great choice. Number, question number two or three. Three, three. How much garbage does a single person in the United States uh, produce each day? Is it four and a half pounds, roughly? Or is it 5.4 pounds, roughly? <laughs> <laughs> how much garbage do I produce? Look at me. Give me the how much, numbers. How much garbage? Give me the four and a half, roughly? Or 5.4, roughly? <laughs> four and a half. You are correct. Yay! Two yeah, for yeah, three. Yeah. Deep. Overmodulate. Yeah. Oh Overmodulate. Overmodulate. You were at a 66%. Two for three. Okay. No. This is a great one. Breathing in the air of Beijing has the same health risks as smoking how many cigarettes in a day? Oh. Is it? This is already a bad question. Uh, is it 12 or is it 21? 12. Um, incorrect. 21. Either one of those is going to be disgusting. Yeah, it's like bad all the way around. You, sp you talk like this if you live in Beijing. Because of the smoke. That's also a scientific <coughs> fact. We are nothing if not accurate always. No, I'm not accurate at all. These facts are correct, but my assessment of them is poor. Okay. Uh, two for four. You need two out of the last three to get the dub here. So mm. another cigarettes question. Great. Uh, breathing in the air of Mumbai, because it's so polluted, has the same health risks as smoking how many cigarettes in a day? Is that 10 or 100? Is Mumbai dirtier? than Beijing. That's also a technical term. Dirty. I feel like <laughs> maybe it is, but 100 feels excessive. It is a bit excessive. 10. You're incorrect. It's 100. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty gross. Can you just imagine walking so around? I feel like you're. Did I officially just lose? No, you, have to, you can get <clears throat> the last two and you can do it. I so don't feel great feel about like, it. I feel like to walk through, you can like take scissors and cut like bad air out and walk through it like it's a door. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so scientific. Fun one. Again. Do you like animals? Yeah. Great. I love animals too. How many mammals does pollution uh, kill every year? <laughs> is it <laughs> is it ten million or another hundred million? Animal deaths, mammal deaths. How many are going on per year as of a result of pollution? 
hundred million. You are correct. All right. So we're coming down. Final question. Okay. Um, this is the hardest one. Oh, great. As you would naturally try to do at the beginning. Like you set up the final gauntlet, the final stand. Okay. How many plastic scarves does the average seal own? Is it zero or is it one? How many plastic scarves does the average seal plastic own? Plastic scarves? Scarves, you know, like the ones you throw around your neck and you look fly. Is that actually what we're... Yeah, that's the question right there. Don't look at the answer, though. Is this supposed to be funny? No one told me they were going to be funny the, this questions. This is the hardest question. I'm, I feel a little duped right now. Seals are fashionable characters, I have you know, but you know, I don't know if they're scarf material. I mean, they could be like wearing other stuff, but seals um, are pretty you know, fashionable. I, it, Zero or one? One. You're correct, look. We've got our seal there. Okay, why did you have to frame it in that in that question? That was very confusing to me, well, but I it, still was it, victorious. It makes for more fun. So yeah, look at him. Okay. He looks good. Look at that. It's like it looks like a little Publix bag. Once again, scientific. Uh, yeah. So you won four out of seven. You did it in the final stretch. Congratulations. Your prize is a landfill full of garbage. Wow, I bought it just for you and I named oh, it after it's a you. Wanted one. <laughs> Mel, the garbage landfill. Uh, so congratulations. Um, yeah, whatever, Peter. He's telling me stuff in the background. I mean, like, what do you want? What do you want? Go ahead. Thanks for watching this season. Yeah, all right. Apparently, thanks for watching the season. We really enjoyed producing this one on a weekly basis, writing and doing everything in front of the camera and off in front of the camera and not in front of the camera. It was just a pleasure, and we just really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I'm Zach Smith. I'm Melanie Thompson. And have a great day. Bye, boys. I'm never going to Don't you just love how we can learn about... Blended McDonald's death. again. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on last week's episode. It was a little traumatic for me. Oh, whoops.